All right, this is going to be part three of God Laughs. Turn your King James Bible to Psalms chapter 59. Little background, this is when, this was written when King David was being hunted by King Saul. King Saul was jealous of David and was trying to kill him to, so that he could continue to be king. Because this was after David had killed Goliath, the giant, the Philistine, which was of the tribe of the Canaanites. So, verse 1. Deliver me from mine enemies, O my God. Defend me from them that rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloody men. For lo, they lie in wait for my soul. The mighty are gathered against me, not for my transgression, nor for my sin, O Lord. They run and prepare themselves without my fault. Awake to help me, and behold, thou therefore, O Lord God of hosts, the God of Israel, awake to, keep, uh, awake to visit all the heathen. Be not merciful to any wicked transgressors. Selah. They return at evening. They make a noise like a dog and go round about the city. Behold, they belch out with their mouth. Swords are in their lips. For who, say they, doth hear? But thou, O Lord, shalt laugh at them. Hmm, interesting. But thou, O Lord, shall, shalt laugh at them. Thou shalt have all the heathen in derision. Because of his strength will I wait upon thee, for God is my defense. The God of mercy shall prevent me. God shall let me see my desire upon mine enemies. Slay them not, lest my people forget. Scatter them by thy power and bring them down, O Lord, our shield. For the sin of their mouth and the words of their lips, let them even be taken in their pride and for cursing and lying which they speak. Consume them in wrath. Consume them that they may not be. Let them know that God ruleth in Jacob unto the ends of the earth. Selah. And at evening let them return and let them make a noise like a dog and go round about the city. Let them wander up and down for meat and grudge if they be not satisfied. But I will sing of thy power, yea, I will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning, for thou hast been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. Unto thee, O my strength, will I sing, for God is my defense and the God of my mercy. You know, speaking of dogs, let's go to Matthew chapter 7 and verse 6 says, Give not that which is holy unto the dogs. Don't give that which is holy unto the dogs. Neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. Now, I don't know if you know it, but uh, hogs, swine, have got very sharp tusks, teeth, and they can rend you, tear you to shreds. I don't know if any of you remember watching the movie Old Yeller, Disney. I never saw the whole thing, but, you know. Dogs. Well, how about this? Revelation chapter 22, verse 13. I am Alpha and Omega, you know, that right there should tell you that uh, that's the first and last letters of the Greek alphabet. You know, the uh, Hebrew Roots movement will try to tell you, oh, no, that's wrong. Really, it's Aleph Tav, and they'll tell you, or however they pronounce that, and say, well, that's that should have been Hebrew, but the uh, pagan Satanic Greeks mistranslated it. No, no. God the Father had the Holy Spirit give John the New Testament book of Revelation 
in Greek. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Jesus is the beginning and the end, people. 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Oh, what? Jesus says, blessed are they that do his commandments. How come when I tell people this, that they say, oh, you are uh, uh, teaching lordship salvation? No, I'm teaching what Jesus says. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they might have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. What city? New Jerusalem. Verse 15, for without, that means like outside, you know, we want to be inside the city. They're going to be outside the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. In 2 Peter 2 and verse 22, But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb, The dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the sow... That's a female pig, that's swine. And the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. See, you can take a, a pig and baptize it and wash them, but they're going to go right back to the, the, the mud hole. So the dog's going to eat its own vomit and the, and the swine's going to go back to the the mud, the mud hole, the filth of this world. All right, so what is the definition of a dog, according to the Bible? Now, are we talking about a two-legged creature or a four-legged uh, creature? And I've heard a lot of women say, uh, they're, uh, the, you know, oh, I used to date this man. He was a dog. I, I've heard that a lot. You know, figures of speech, right? Uh, I was probably called one a few times, and I probably deserved it back in the day. All right, Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 16. Deuteronomy 23 and 16. He shall dwell with thee, even among you, in that place which he shall choose in one of thy gates, where it liketh him best, thou shalt not oppress him. Verse 17. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. All right, so they don't the daughters of the Israel to be a whore, and they don't want the sons to be sodomites. Verse seven, uh, verse 18. Now listen carefully. This is called parallelism. Thou shalt not bring the hire of a whore or the price of a dog into the house of the Lord thy God for any vow. For even... Both these are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So it says, There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. And thou shalt not bring the hire of a whore. Don't bring, don't bring the money of a prostitute or the money of a, a sodomite, price of a dog, into the house of the Lord thy God for any vow. For even both these are abomination unto the Lord thy God. See, God doesn't want a prostitute or a sodomite's money into the house of God for, for some kind of a vow or, you know, request or a prayer. Now, do you get it? The Bible talks about dogs. 
Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. I think this is going to be the end. We're going to do another. This is going to be a series. So this is Chaplain Bob. Light of the World Ministries, John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. And Jesus is that light of life. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to him. In Jesus' name, amen.